Subscribe to Keto and Tea and hit that notification bell. Thank you. You, you, you. Welcome back to another episode of Keto and Tea. I don't ask for much, I simply ask for a thumbs up. Can you thumbs up the video? Come on in, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so every time I upload a video, you can get the message. Welcome back to another episode of Keto and Tea. I don't ask for much. I simply ask for a thumbs up. Can you thumbs up my video? Come on in. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so every time I upload a video, you can get the message. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. I woke up feeling fine, feeling great, feeling in my right mind, you know. So I want to come on and do a video this morning and chit chat with you all. Well, let me fix this camera. There we go. Y'all look at this guy. Isn't this guy beautiful? This guy is beautiful. But y'all, I'm going to be driving a little slower today because I have a donut on my car. Y'all remember that time when I took a PTO day, right? And I ain't going to work because I had a flat. <laughs> so apparently this flat came back yesterday to haunt me down so what mavis done was they looked at my rim because apparently that tire goes flat a lot so i've been riding on that rim to get to a shop to get the flat done so it damaged my rim so mavis had to send the rim out somewhere to get it repaired and i'm supposed to pick it up today so for now, I'm driving with this donut that they put on. They told me to stay like, like under 50, don't go over 50. So I've been driving with this donut since yesterday. And I got that on yesterday, like around four o'clock when I got off of work and I noticed that I had a flat. I said, here we go again. But they saying that I keep losing air on the passenger side because the rim was damaged from me driving on it. I said, oh, so they had to go fix that. But it's a lot of work keeping the maintenance up on this car. Because you find yourself putting in a lot of cash. Like, since, like, let me see, since May? Shoot, I want to say probably March. I've been spending mad cash on the car, keeping it afloat. Because I said, I'm not buying me another vehicle. The only person I'm buying a car for is my son. And I want that to be brand new off the showroom floor from when he come out of high school. But for me, I want to keep this here thing going. Keep all the repairs and stuff up on it. Because I don't plan on buying another car. I don't want to buy another car. But I, but I will buy one for him. Because he deserves it. So he, he does really well. So I do want to give him you know, a car. But for me, I'd rather just keep this. But he asked me if he can keep this car when he come out of high school. But I told him if I give this car over to him, he's going to be putting in a lot of cash to keep it going. And I don't want, you know, I don't want that for him. So, I keep this for myself and give him something. And do it like that. So anyway, y'all. Just wanted to come on and talk for a little bit and tell y'all how I was over in the shade room and there's a story over there with Sukiana. Now, I, I know a lot of y'all probably know who Sukiana is. She's an entertainer. Uh, she was on uh, Cardi B's video and um, what was the name of that video again? It was Cardi B and Matt Thee Stallion. I forget the name of that song, but she was in a video shoot. 
And I got a lot of nieces, y'all, who listen, who, like they listen to Sukiyana. They like her. I myself don't care for her music or her whole her whole style or anything like that. That's not my thing. But apparently over there in the shade room, she was doing an interview with someone. Because you know the shade room just covers stories and they, you know, post it over there in the shade room. So she was doing an interview and apparently a guy leaned in, some guy leaned in to try to give her a kiss or something like that. And the comments, but she she ducked the guy from trying to lean in and give her a kiss. So the comments is over there like, what you put out is what you get back. And they was like, and then some comments was like, that's sexual harassment. And then some people feeling like leaning in to give somebody a kiss is not sexual harassment. And then it's like, y'all gotta read those comments over there. It's crazy. But just because she put out a certain style of music, that doesn't warrant it. nobody coming up to her to lean in to kiss her and stuff like that. That's not cool. I don't think that's fair at all. But people saying because of her lyrics and because she had went up to men, they said, and grabbed their genitals and stuff like that. They said she do stuff like that. That she uh, got back what she put out in the universe what they're saying but you know I see things a little bit different no one deserves that you know like keep like get out of my personal space like it's always boundaries like I don't care if I was up there rapping about giving everybody you know I ain't even gonna say but they don't give nobody the right to come up and just force themselves on again you know just because you rap about a certain way like I said I can't really say anything about Sukiyana, because I grew up with the Little Kim era and the, the Trinas and all of that. So, you know, it's going to be lyrics that sometimes that's explicit. You know, I grew up with those ladies. So, and then the teens, they got Sukiyana. <laughs> you know, it's just a whole new generation thing. So, I'm going to go on and end this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Drop down below. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. And if you were in the shade room and did you see that story, what's your thoughts and opinions on it? And I'll be back at 4 o'clock or so when I get off of work. We can do us another video. And remember, y'all, we avoiding drama. We avoiding all of that bullshit. We not interested. We not going. Um, Like I said, the people who... I still have a relationship. I still have that relationship with. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, other people who decided to go, bye. You know, um, that's all I have for right now. And I'll see you guys at 4 o'clock. Bye.